Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means it is time to kick back, relax, and talk music. Welcome to the Friday Night Mailbag. I have a couple pieces of mail I'm going to open up. Um, first one, I'm pretty sure is, well, it's from Mike over at Vinyl Storage Solutions, and I'm pretty sure it's his new double album, Gatefold Sleeves. So I'm really looking forward to opening that up. But first, let's kick things off with Record of the Week. This week's Record of the Week is Motley Crue's 1991 release, Decade of Decadence. Motley the crew has put out a lot of compilation albums, but I would argue this is their best one. So a little history of this record. Obviously, this is um, celebrating a decade of decadence, a decade of Motley Crue, and really marked the end of an era. Shortly after this, Vince Neil left the band, and many people would argue Motley Crue really never regained that initial spark they had, even after Vince came back. I would argue that after this album, really most of their output was pretty mediocre at best. A lot of people say they love Motley Crue 94 with John Carabi on vocals, but I don't really consider that a Motley Crue album. As I said, I think this is their best compilation. It had remixes of Live Wire and Piece of Reaction, which were okay, but there was a really cool remix of Home Sweet Home. Plus, it had Teaser and Rock and Roll Junkie on here. Those songs were um, released on um, various other compilations and some new tracks too, including Angela, their cover of Anarchy in the UK, which is, eh, <laughs> no one should touch Anarchy. But it also has Primal Scream on here, which is actually probably one of Crew's best songs. This is the European pressing. It is a two record set, and it came with these um, custom printed inners, photos of the band, and uh, lyrics. And this one is also the same sort of thing. And it came with a full-size poster of the band, which you see there. I won't open it all the way. That is this week's record of the week, Motley Crue's Decade of Decadence. Let's get to the mail. As I said, I got this package from Mike over at Vinyl Storage Solutions. Mike has been a guest on this channel. I've talked about his products several times and uh, he lives nearby me. But Mike is just an all around cool guy. Now I know, I know he has sold these, um, hold on a second here. So as I said, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. These are the four mil sleeves for gatefold albums. <sighs> this is something I've long been looking for, a really good outer sleeve for my uh, double albums with the gatefolds, right? Because you can put in a single sleeve, but then you can't see the gatefold and... I don't know, I was kind of looking for a solution to this. I know Mike has been selling these gatefold outer sleeves for, for a while, but they were kind of sold out. So he finally got some more in stock. So as I said, I'm pretty sure that is what he sent over. He sells them for about 25 bucks Canadian for 10 sleeves. So that's about 20 bucks US. So anyway, let's check this out. Okay, so here are his outer gatefold sleeves. Um, I'm gonna try to sleeve an album. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the camera over there and do my best so you can see me do this and we'll see how it goes. So I've got the double sleeve laid out here on my desk. In this experiment, I will be sleeving a copy of Kiss's 1976 album, Destroyer. This is a single LP, however, it does come in a nice gatefold sleeve. So I kind of want to see this artwork. So I think it would benefit from being in one of these special outer sleeves for double records. Now I've watched a tutorial on Mike's website. So I've kind of seen the trick to do this. Kind of lay it out here. So you see here, there's this opening in the middle that kind of corresponds with, I don't know what you call it, the inner spine or, or whatnot right there. So that's going to go inside there. But on his website, in his video, Mike warns, if you just stick the record in here, it can get caught on this edge and it can rip the corners of your outer sleeves. And you don't want that because these sleeves, they look nice, but they're not cheap. So Mike says, let's take two pieces of paper in, that, in there like that. So when you slide the record in, it kind of slides under the paper. So let's see if this trick works. There we go, let's do the first one. And look at that, an effort, effort, effortlessly. <laughs> Pardon me, I've had a bit of a cold this week. It slides in there like that. So let's get this aligned. So you can see there, again, this crease here, this crease aligns 
with the opening. So now what side is, okay, here's the opening for the LP. So there's no reason, nothing there. So we're just gonna clo close this flap. And on this side, usually I, I slide my records into the back of the sleeve, but since there's easy access right there to the jacket, I'm just gonna slide the record just right into there like this. So it's in the album. And you can, if you don't want these tuckable ends, you can just cut them off, but just to prevent dust from getting into there. Put it there. There. That looks really nice. Let's check this out. Let's just kind of push down on here to get some of the air out of there. And check this out. These outer sleeves are gorgeous, crystal clear, and really makes the album artwork pop. But we knew it would. We've used these. I've used these four mil outer sleeves before, but I have not used these particular ones for the gate folds. You can see the spine there, perfectly clear. There's the back, and most importantly, look at this. Now you can clearly, clearly see the uh, in inside of the gate fold. This is a little bit loose. There's a little bit of wiggle room on there. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Some jackets are a lot bigger or thicker, so that would definitely help that fit. Or if you had, you know, a two LP set or you have inserts, you, you need a little bit extra room. So there you go. I think this looks great. I'm gonna have to buy more of these outer sleeves. I mean, for the price, I can't sleeve every gatefold album I have, but I can certainly use this on some of my favorites. Very cool. I got one more opening the mail uh, segment I had shot earlier. So let's go back in time and check this one out. This next package comes from Brandon at the Vinyl Frontier in Georgia, USA. So thank you, Brandon, for sending this. He gave me a heads up um, that this was coming. So let us check it out. We got a note. We got a note. Channel 33 RPM. Howdy, Frank. Just wanted to say I love your channel. And if you ever find yourself in the Deep South, a.k.a. Georgia, USA, come give us a visit at the Vinyl Frontier. We are an indie record store out of uh, Carlton. Uh, Carrollton? Carlton, uh, Georgia, about an hour outside of Atlanta, and we have over 50,000 LPs. Sounds killer. I actually love the U.S. South, and I haven't been down there now. I hate to even admit it. It's been like 16, 17 years. Um, the most fun I ever had, I had a friend who was living in Houston, and we took a road trip all around the Gulf Coast. We drove to Alabama and Mississippi, and Louisiana all the way to Florida and I had the time of my life and I've been to Louisiana multiple times I've been to Memphis I just love that area I've never been to Georgia so maybe one of these days um, he says uh, they also have at this store a huge metal section I think you'd appreciate um, as well as an enormous Alice Cooper section as he's a personal favorite I'm sure you've gathered that I love Alice as well in fact he's coming through town in April I'm looking forward to that anyway thanks again for the great videos I'm always one to catch them when they drop looking forward to the next one thanks again Corporal Quig of the Vinyl Frontiers I love it thank you very much uh, Corporal Quig this is awesome so let's check this out. The Vinyl Frontier. It's the Vinyl Frontier. And what's this say? The Vinyl Frontier. It's a little button, a little pin in the shirt. I love shirts. The Vinyl Frontier established 2016 in Georgia, USA. Very cool. I love the little logo. This is awesome. Thank you, Brandon or Corporal. I'm going to mess this up. Corporal Quig. Thank you, Brandon. Or Corporal Quig from the Vinyl Frontier. All right, 33ers, that is today's Friday update. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you dug it, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. We'll be back in a couple of days. Until then, keep on spinning.